Hey everyone, welcome back. Here now to perform Project New York Rican. Please welcome poet Destiny Favilla. Genepas y mangos mounted onto museum walls called history. They keep making us history. I am New Yorican stained because of capitalism. When I visit my island, they don't look at me the same. Why should they? I get to call myself Puerto Rican while living with electricity that doesn't play peekaboo whenever the government wants it to. Privilege on the soles of my holist Jordan shoes. They sold the American dream to Abuelita, but they made sure she couldn't read the terms and conditions. Literacy saved only for wealthy politicians. Bronx and Brooklyn tenements infested with remix of the island. In the summer, we flourish with barbecues and black parties. Music so loud, the ears of whites hear it as white noise to drown out their predetermined plans. They've wound us up like factory toys. If you take a people and displace them from their native land, sell them a shiny dream without too much sun or sand, but cement filled streets that cut us open when we land, like a bridge to diversity, when what we've become is a dam flooded and floating out into the diaspora. But we don't wanna die poor anymore. Let's use literacy as resistance because imagine what we could do if all of us could actually read. We'd come together, help and lead our people who are in need of basic human necessity. La casita que Tia Maria put her life savings into is now flooded without a roof. They're trying to crack the south of the island off and make it into Guam, but they've already imprisoned a people by making us believe we've had to leave our land. Guilty pleasures are humanity's weakness. So whether it be guns, drugs, or processed foods, they make sure you always see a Latinx name on the news. Washington pretends not to see us, like Hector Lavoe said, ni pa' yagua miral. Pero nosotros tenemos que gritar. They gave us citizenship para callar our salsa singing voices. Because when we came to Nueva York, we made a bomb, an explosion of flavor. But no speaking English forced us into factories with penny paid harsh labor. Big Brother gave us Goya instead of land grown food. Because Si no comemos our sacred island recipes, our bodies would not conform. They've conditioned our brains to only see beauty if you're blanquita, flaquita, y fina, and that only in youth is it okay to be gordita. Trauma, births, either death or resistance. They pump drugs into our communities, leaving us with no assistance. What's better than numbing the pain when our real home is kept? at a distance, all we have left to guide us is our ancestor's path of holy persistence. My future daughter will know her Boricua blood carries magic in its existence. Boricua magic. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. That's how we do it. All right. That's Destiny Padilla. And for more on Destiny, you can visit her on Instagram at Destiny Poet. Happy National Poetry Month. And uh, that is our show today, mi gente. Thanks to all our guests for coming through. And to you, our viewers, for tuning in. If you missed any part of the show, you can check out the Recablecast tonight, 24 hours a day at Bronxnet.tv. I'm Rena Valentin. And for all of us here at Open, may the universe provide paz, prosperity, y amor. <laughs>